Hi, Rugs. Welcome back to Rogue Radio. We started things with a Leonard Skinner song there. Now, I don't normally start with Southern Rock, but today we are going to be celebrating the life of one of the great modern Southern Rock artists that we sadly lost this year, Jason Rowdy Cope from the Steelwoods. So I thought it would be fitting as a tribute to him to play the acoustic version of The Last Rebel to begin with. Today we're going to play songs from some of his Steelwoods albums, including the fantastic most recent album that was released posthumously. And we're also going to play great songs that he wrote, or that he played on, and or with other people's bands that he played in, because he was a pretty prolific, tremendous artist. Speaking of Rebels and what have you, I wanted to thank you all for the response to last week's show. I didn't realise, given my opinions to bullshit award ceremonies would have such a good impact, but there's been a lot of people sharing and commenting publicly, and some others who've been contacting me privately, and I just wanted to say thank you. I'm glad I'm not the only person who thinks this kind of bullshit stagnates the UK scene and stops us from being taken seriously. I'm not being controversial here, I'm just being honest. I desperately, desperately want country music and roots music to succeed in the UK. We have an absolute plethora of talent. We've got Tons of our own history and culture. We should be creating something beautiful and unique and showing the world that some of the best songwriters and best musicians come from the UK. I mean, hell, it's happened with the blues. Think how many great blues bands came from England after the English people kind of heard what the blues was and filtered it through their own style. This is what we should be doing. We shouldn't be pandering to silly little organisations that gatekeep gigs The doors that you're getting opened are just doors that they are ticketing and doors that put money in their pocket. Come on. Let's break out. Let's really make something beautiful. That's enough from me anyway. I'll get off my soapbox. You know that you did wrong. That is the main thing. I'm going to treat you to two songs by incredibly talented young women. If you haven't heard of Sierra Hull, get on it. This song's called Secrets, and it was the title track to her debut album, which was produced by Alison Krauss when Sierra was only 15. Can you imagine being that talented at 15? Alison Krauss actually discovered her when Sierra was only 11. It just blows your mind, doesn't it? Being that talented at 11, or being discovered then. Fortunately, she was discovered by Alison Krauss, and not one of these creepy old bastards who sits watching live streams spamming the heart react every time it's a young lass, but... Ooh. Doesn't bear thinking about. Before we play you this wonderful young lass's music, we're going to play Bad News by No Means by Emily Nenny. I love this track. It's got so much style and swagger, and all of the band are just performing red hot. I have to say, though, I think she's probably telling Porky's on that chorus. Bad News by No Means. In my experience, a pretty girl in a cowboy hat is always bad news by all means. <laughs> 